God bless you. And God bless everyone that hear this message and put it into practice. My brothers and sisters, you shall be blessed. And you will remain blessed forever. When you put the word of God into practice. The word of God will be a fruit in your life and the fruit will abide forever. And no man will root it out. No woman will root it out. That is why the word of God is so important in your life. We are going to talk about the word of God that says, Who prevent you from obeying the truth? The word of God says, Who prevent you from obeying the truth, brother, sister? Who prevent you from obeying the truth? The word of God says, You were doing so well. You were running well before. You were born again before. You were made of God before. You were a child that fear the living God, that walk according to the instruction of God. You were the child that hated evil before. You were a child that glow with the word of God before. You swear before that you don't want to involve yourself in evil, that you don't want to hurt many souls. You don't want to engage yourself in evil. You swear before that you are going to walk according to the will of God, that you will fear God from beginning to the end. But now, have you asked yourself what is happening in your life now, brother, sister? That is why the word of God says in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 7, the word of God says, you were running where? Who prevent you from obeying the truth? Who prevent you from obeying the truth, brother and sister? Who made you to stop obeying the truth? Is it your father? Is it your mother? Is it your friend? Is it your cousin? Is it your master? Is it your business partner? Is it your business? The word of God asks, who prevent you? From obeying the truth. Who made you to stop obeying the truth? To stop fearing God. The word of God said that man or woman that prevents you from obeying the truth. It's not good for you. It's not good for you because it's a canker wounds and caterpillar in your life. You must separate yourself from that man, from that woman. You must separate yourself from that that prevents you from obeying the truth. Because the word of God is true. That is why you must obey the truth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth will love you when you obey the truth, when you speak the truth, that the truth will set you free. You are made as an image of Jesus. Express him of Jesus to speak the truth at all times. The word of God says say the truth and the truth will set you free. Say the truth in your life. No matter what happens, no matter the condition you see yourself into, no matter what is going on in your life, Jesus Christ of Nazareth wants you to say the truth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth wants you to walk according to his word, to hold the truth and abandon lies. To hold the truth and abandon crooked way. And the word of God said you were doing well before. And who stop you not to obey the truth? Who prevent you, brother? The word of God said who prevent you not obeying the truth? Such persecution does not come from the Lord. Such persecution does not come from Jesus. Such a man that prevents you not to obey the truth is not from God. Such a friend that prevents you not obeying the truth is not from God. It's not a good friend. It's not a friend ordained by God for you. Such a prosperity that prevents you not to obey the truth is not from God. Such a blessing that prevents you not to obey the truth is not from God. The word of God says it is not from God. The word of God says such a suffering that, that prevents you, that stop you not to obey the truth is not from God. It is from Satan. The word of God says is this land that prevents you not to obey the truth is not from God. Is it child? Is it is it jealousy? The word of God says it's not from God. Is it lack of progress? Is it lack of prosperity? 
it's not from God. It's not from God. Whatever that stop you not obeying the truth is not from God. You must obey the truth. You must walk according to the truth. You must allow the truth to have a part in your life, to have a free course in you. I am confident about you in the Lord that you will not think otherwise. Jesus said, I am confident about you, my brother. Jesus said, I am confident about you, my sister. Jesus said, I am confident about you that you will not think otherwise. You will not think otherwise to reject the word of God, to reject his salvation. You will not think otherwise to accept Satan. You will not think otherwise. When Jesus meant that his confidence about you, simple me trust his children. Jesus is confidence about those that obey the truth. His confidence about those who reject evil and walk according to the destruction of the most cycle. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he said, I am confident about you, that you will not think otherwise. I still feel confidence about you, that you will not think otherwise. Jesus said that you will not think otherwise, that you will not allow the evil people to inflict you, that you will not allow the evil people to kill the truth of God in your life, that you will not allow witches and wizards, jealousy and envy, cause it to destroy what the Lord have already built in your life, the truth Jesus have already built in your life. You must allow the truth to remain you forever, and it shall be well with you when you allow the true but the word of god say i am confident about you in the lord that you will not think of the word but whosoever it is that is confusing you will pay the penalty that man that confusing you not to obey the truth will pay the penalty if it is your mother she will pay the penalty if it is your father he will pay the penalty if it is your brother he will pay the penalty if it is your wife she will pay the penalty if it is your husband he will pay the penalty if it is your master he or she will pay the penalty the word of god says that man that woman that confusing you, distracting you, that inflicting you not to pay the truth will face the judgment. The word of God said you will pay the penalty. The word of God said the wages of sin is there. He will live what he so. The word of God said that that distracts you, that that separates you from the truth of God, that that confusing you not to walk according to the will of God. Whosoever that is to you, the word of God make it clear that she or he will pay the penalty. He will pay the penalty. The word of God says he will pay the penalty. She will pay the penalty. The man or the woman who is upsetting you not to obey the truth, whosoever he is or she is, will be punished by God. The word of God says whosoever he is or she is will be punished by God. The man, the woman that preventing you not to obey the truth, the dad that preventing you must be punished by the law. That is why you must obey the truth, brothers and sisters. Do not allow the truth of the word of God to die in your life. Do not allow the faithfulness of God to die in your life. Do not allow the righteousness of Jesus to die. Continue walking according to the word of God. Any man or woman that you see that is preventing you not to bear the truth, separate yourself from there. They are the workers of devil. They are the instrument of devil. They are not the children of God. I want you to put this word into practice in your life. I want you to apply this word. I want you to allow this word of God in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 7 down to be a fruit in your life. You will see you will be filled with Holy Ghost and power. You will prosper. The wicked will never prevent you not to prosper. You will see that you will make it. You will see that you will achieve that your desire to achieve by the name of Jesus. You will achieve it. Let the peace of God be unto you. And let the blessing of God flow like a river of water in your life. It shall be well with you, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. And peace of God be unto you once again. God bless you.